Hi, this is Leonardo, and I'm gonna show you uh, the new three modules that I have released that are available in the free version as well that in the premium. These are practically three utilities, well, four utilities. Uh, so these modules are very simple. I think it's it's very uh, easy to understand what is happening with them, but I wanted to show you uh, like why I. I made them. So the first one I want to add here is if you wonder what's the version that you are running right now, now I have a, a version module that if you just add it, it will it's just a it's just a panel that is gonna tell you which uh, version of the modules you have, either the premium or, or the or the free. And that's it that you can check. The version and maybe especially in the in the free you can just uh, see the version number here and see the latest release and then you can know if you have to update or not the other two uh, the next two are the two utilities that are very similar it's a bypass and a send for a single stereo channel let me just decrease the opacity of the cables. So what we have here, uh, we have send and return inputs and outputs, and uh, regular input and output. If you if you know what a send uh, in a mixer uh, is, then you already know how to use this thing. Otherwise, the main idea is that you input any signal here in the inputs. And then you use the send and return to to send this signal to an effect. For example, here I'm sending it to the to the knee stereo chorus. So the input goes here, and the process output goes into the return. And then you have uh, then you can control how much of uh, the process or the original signal is is output. Uh, with with this blend control, and that's it. Well, uh, yeah, you have also a modulation input and, and an attenuator to to change dynamically this. Bypass is very similar. You have the same idea: input, um, uh, an output, and then you have a send and the return again. But what changes here is is the way you interact with this. Uh, so this has two mo two modes the toggle mode and the push mode when you're in push mode you can either uh, insert a signal here a gate and it's gonna turn it on or or you can just press this button so what happens when i press this button is that the uh, we are sending signal to the to the effect in this case it, it's a pair of delays which are in stereo configuration and then i get the the signal out from the return so you can even see in the lights here, when I press it, it, send, it sends output. And it has two modes, uh, the toggle mode and the push mode. If I'm in toggle, every time that there is a, a, a trigger here, it's gonna change the state. So you can uh, turn it on or turn it off. And otherwise you can just put it in push mode and use a, a gate signal or something to, to manually change the state. The third one is is the knobs, which I I made with the intention of of just making a little bit more compact, uh, a common pattern that I use. For example, uh, I have here two filters, and these two filters are forming an, an stereo filter. So what I did, let me change the opacity of the cable so you can see it here. Uh, these two filters take the input of the send and they the two filters output directly to the to the audio right now and what i did i just put this to the minimum this like uh, one quarter these two and connected both to this so what happens here is that i have a, a single uh, knob that is outputting a, a constant and it's controlling both both filters so I'm effectively, effectively making a stereo filter here. But the interesting thing here is that 
often I, I want to control the filters, but at the same time I want to get some modulations. For example, I have an LFO connected from here, and I want to, to modulate it. So I can simply connect it here, change the, the 10 inverter value, and it's, and it's outputting this constant value, plus uh, whatever uh, the modulation input is I'm, I'm having. Then, uh, yeah, typically I want also to, to affect it with an envelope. So here I have the an envelope signal from Spank to get like that that uh, plucky behavior, and then you can just combine it with the with the LFO or other four sources. And this is bipolar or, or unipolar. If you put it right in the middle and make it bipolar, here we are, we are outputting zero. And if we are outputting zero, you can just use it to make signals, uh, like positive or negative. I'm just keep it unipolar for the filters. And so in this patch, I'm just like triggering randomly from a gate using flux and, and caudal. And then I have a melody that, that comes from the from the Turing machine. And yeah, that, that is into VESEC. And the bypass is, is toggling, uh, connecting the stereo output or the dry signal. I'm gonna change it to push, so you can hear the difference. That is the the dry signal, and this is with the effect. I'm gonna change to toggle, and then here I have I have connected the, as a send effect two delays, and I can control the how much is sent into the delays and how much is returned. Uh, yeah, and I can use this modulation to change. So this, that's it. I think is you're gonna find use for this in VCV rack, and I hope you like them and this. These are part of the free and, and premium package. And if you want to uh, receive more updates on the modules or other stuff that I'm doing, just subscribe to this channel.